Good evening, everybody. I'm just going to wait um, a couple of minutes so a friends of ours can join in. And I'm so excited to be able to do this topic today. Um, yeah, so come on, let's start and see how. Hi, Shweta. Just going to wait for a couple of minutes, um, probably more than. Uh, anything I think this is something that we need to talk right now about and I'd like to really start um, you know um, really focusing on mindfulness mindful thinking winner mindset all right okay so I'm gonna start off without ado hi hello everyone I'm Buji Murthy um, I'm an entrepreneur founder and owner of a company that I run called Avka Naturals by Vijay Murthy. Earlier it was known as Sanjeevi Natural Products. Uh, so we are into uh, hair and care natural solutions. Everything that solves for your hair or skin problems. And um, yeah, so mostly uh, for me it has to be problem solving and that's when we kind of bring out this product. All are handmade, completely toxic free. Apart from that, I'm a Reiki master. I'm a Karunaki Reiki master, an angel therapy uh, channelist. I connect with the angels, I channel with them, and also an access bar uh, practitioner. Yeah. Uh, hi, Shweta. Hi, Romila. Thanks for joining in. Okay. So, um, why do I do what do I do, especially these sessions? So, these sessions are called Winner Mindset Series with Vijimurti. This is purely for the fact of being a uh, able to give back to my friends and folks in society uh, it's a pure service and a contribution and this is something that i love doing and i thought what not a better time to really start talking and discussing points which is really going to help a lot lot of us out here i uh, would like to know about angel talking absolutely shweta we can connect you can dm me and we can talk about that angels are very close to my heart uh, i can't tell you more than that i mean i mean it's like every day walking and talking with them. I channel through them. I do card reading. I do card. Uh, I do angel channeling as well. Yeah, I mean, there's so much that they're there to help you. All right. Okay, going back to the topic. Today's topic is called overthinking. Is it really helpful for us? Is it something that really helps us combat stress? Uh, is it really something that, you know, uh, adds value to our life? Right? So just before diving in, yes, Mutesh. A uh, very, very happy friendship day. Nothing like doing this on Facebook because you have loads of virtual friends uh, who really encourage you, motivate you, um, you know, help you to do what you're doing, especially uh, this, se this series of mine is purely supported by my Facebook friends. So a very, very happy friendship day and hope you all had good festivals and festivities that just went by. Uh, Varma Lakshmi, may Goddess Lakshmi shower every one of you with loads of prosperity and abundance and uh, the Eid as well. I hope all my Eid friends had a great celebration as well. Okay, so Winner Mindset Series, why do I do what I do and especially why it's called Winner Mindset Series? It's basically, I encourage you to invest in your health. Yes, a lot is being spoken about immunity, physical health, but I really want to focus on emotional health inner well-being that's what i really want you all to invest in and that's the reason this is a session that i've been doing and today's the session 13th yes one three successfully which i started almost a few months ago uh, every sundays um, and with these winner mindset series is something that i want to help you take charge of your life and create the highest best possible for your life in all areas of this uh, of your life and this is even more imp important, especially during this pandemic that we are going through. I really want each one of us to raise to a higher level and function and vibrate and really do the best that we can do. But that really starts when you start investing in your inner health, in your mindset. Um, you know, how do you alter your mindset? Set? How do you start functioning? What is the practical ways of doing, right? We have a lot of self-help books. We have a lot of... Um, theories we have a lot of doctors we have everybody talking about it but what is it what does it mean to lay men to everyday professionals like you and me and this is my contribution all right okay without ado let's start off um right um also um 
Okay, so overthinking, why did I even choose this topic? Overthinking, I chose this topic and also my team and I uh, really kind of spoke about it. As the cases of the virus is increasing and there is no clear vision of what the future could be, when is it going to end, When? what is happening, is the normal ever going to be back to normal again, is the world going to be normal ever again, right? Um, and that's actually causing a lot of depression, anxiety, stress and more so overthinking, yes. The reason I want to highlight about overthinking is because um, the reason being that one, what actually do you really mean by overthinking? One, it only simply means that you are stressing over actions which are not going to take place. You are stressing over fears which really doesn't exist. And this is very different from a project planning or problem solving or even uh, being creative because this particular aspect of overthinking is only you know stressing you further uh, while overthinking there is no actionable points that is going to come out of your mind and this is actually the negative side the negative thinking and the fear-based thinking constant thinking of what's going to happen why is it happening what should have done it mostly mostly about could be could be uh, should have been could have been why can't it be you know those kind of aspects i will dwell into very soon what it is caused by right but i'm really discussing about what is overthinking all right um also um overthinking also for you to get cues about what could be overthinking is you know cues of depression cues of anxiety stress cues about feeling um, you know overwhelmed about emotions also a helplessness and unable to make decisions unable to take proper stepwise actions uh, you know you're always dilly dally right you're unable to make decisions but you're overthinking you know you're worrying and then you go back to the drawing board and it's a circle it's pretty much overthinking is a chicken and egg situation and i will come to that and i will tell you why all right um okay so that is um uh, overthinking okay another point about overthinking i would really like to highlight is overthinking is not about self-reflection right saying that okay i am not good at xyz how can i improve it no that's not overthinking it is not self-reflection it is not about self-improvement it is not about trying to really get yourself from uh, you know goals from here to point a to point c no it is not that all right so that all of those cues that i call are what it means is overthinking all right now uh, we're going to move to how do you really overcome thinking or what are the other signs of overthinking okay and how do i actually overcome it one you definitely have to become um you know oh, i'm so sorry i'm so sorry it's the wind and it's really raining and my notes are prepared loads of notes here for you okay now what is caused you know what causes the overthinking one uh, it's also said there's a lot of trauma based fear that's in one person okay there's also um, uh, past uh, you know uh, childhood trauma uh, it could be when you're taking decisions or you've been marred by your confidence also let's say when you are uh, also um, you have traumatic experiences you've gone through very a tough childhood uh, it really does affect your confidence your emotional balance which leads to overthinking when you are an adult you could also see a lot of signs in that in teenagers as well but that it really progresses when you are an adult um, a lot of um, a lot and one of the other reasons for causing overthinking is a lot when uh, you're very worried about uh, the de decisions that you've made in life long ago. Uh, regret, a lot of regret, a uh, lot of guilt. Um, you know, I should have done that. I could have done that. Why did I do this? I should have done something else. You know, I should have taken a different route. Uh, I should have made uh, a different decision. I should have taken a different, um, you know, charge. Or I should have actually gone ahead with a different job. You know, so much, so on and so forth a lot of ifs and do's and the fact that you're actually beating yourself up most often than not is also overthinking but if you're really overdoing it um, unable to let go of the past unable to really come to terms 
with the decisions that you have made for yourself as a person right also more so i would say from uh, a, a spiritual or you know from my practice point of view as well unable to forgive yourself when you're unable to forgive yourself when you're unable to really come to terms with okay this is what my life has been this is what i have but life is always moving forward but when you're unable to kind of take that kind of uh, a mindfulness decision all right now let's move on to how does overthinking damage us yes physically emotionally it really really damages us i'm just going to go through few points on how it's going to really affect us at different levels okay emotionally you start going through a lot of low phases right so these are the signs that you can look at not for you or probably a loved one or somebody else that you know even a friend um, especially this pandemic time there are a lot of people going through a lot of things and this is something that will probably help you as well to see okay what is it that this person is going through and probably something that even you might want to do a dip check on okay so emotionally you really start going through a lot of low phases very often a mentally or a emotionally healthy person emotional lows are very far off between each other right so you are able to really uh, take control of your living or day to day life and able to li- live uh, you know face things bravely but when you're overthinking your emotional low phases are very very often uh, it's also like a chicken and egg situation like i told you earlier uh the reason being that you are unable to move forward you're unable to make decisions you're unable to take actions you're unable to take positive steps right so and then you're emotionally low because of that and then again you're guilty and you regret that you're not able to do that so it's a chicken and egg situation that you're constantly in from you know emotional low phase unable to do this going through all of this trauma going through all of this stress added to whatever you could have done been you know you could have all of those things so it's constant you know chicken and egg situation would really kind of continuously go, starts going down another one is you start de- dwelling on events uh, which causes a lot of okay that's the train there i'm just going to show you i'm sorry i hope you enjoy it yes it's like almost i live in a hill station so that's a cargo train very few trains in the past I'm just going to give it a second for it to pass by. Wow, that's a long one. Yep, that's the goods train. And this is the view that I have currently. <laughs> I know Shweta, isn't it? it's been ages here to the number of trains have reduced quite a bit very very few have started off when the lockdown released and now it's been very now and then yeah so hope you'll enjoy that okay so um the other one how does it really uh, affect you also what happens is you start you know dwelling upon recurring events it really causes a lot of stress and it does lead to a lot of mental health as well so um you know there are decisions or probably there are events that have happened you constantly go on thinking about it it really dips your mental health on day to day basis as well it affects your nerves as well your nerves and in your brain and even your body there are signs proving that overthinking does cause nervous issues as well okay so some say it's true it's been ages seen one and been one and two a train one yeah <laughs> right absolutely isn't it um a sight a sudden surprise sight Right. Um another one I'd really like to highlight is overthinking is something that is not um taken very um seriously. And when I say seriously, I don't want you to be only thinking about oh my god, but it is one of the mental disorders which goes along with many other uh, um mental health as well like anxiety is an actual disorder stress uh it really again adds to your physical uh, health um um depression and along with that is also overthinking it does add to the list of mental health so don't my only appeal is don't brush it uh, uh, you know down the carpet 
um, take note of it and I'm going to go with how you can actually work on it as well. I'm going to take you through those notes as well. Uh, what I'm going to do will help us o overcome, you know, this kind of uh, situation, especially in our mindset. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hi. Ravi says hi. So can I just quickly say hi to everybody here? So, uh, yep, I know all my friends are here. Hey, Nitesh, Dipti, Asha, Lydia, TM, TM from Netherlands. Very good evening. So nice to see so many of my friends. Uh, Rashmi, Ravi. Okay, anybody else, drop me a line. And what I will ask you is, uh, probably everyone who's watching right here, right? And I will read out every comment. Have you gone through something like this and has it really stressed you out? You know, all of us go through overthinking one or the other time in our lifetime, right? So have you gone through it? And what was your feeling? Just drop me one line in the comment section now. And I'd really like to read out and know uh, if you've ever experienced it. Go ahead. I'm going to give you like five seconds. Let's see anything coming in. Anyone going through overthinking? You've seen anybody go through that? Um, have you seen what's happened to them? How does that feel? Uh, what happens to you know their health or their life? Uh, the says, I'm a big overthinker and suffering from constant headache. There you go. Thank you so much for sharing, Shweta. It really takes a big heart and an absolute absolute vulnerability to be able to share that no medicine works for my headache absolutely so that's thank you so much so much for sharing that shweta so you're right so overthinking causes so much of stress on your physical brain it really does and to a point where your actually your head starts hurting it is because it is the self-imposed pain most of the self-imposed pain because of stress anxiety worry constant worriness you know you go through a lot of physical ailments you would have also seen a lot of them going through loose motions or stomach problems or aches and pains in their bodies you know don't want to move you know the head is bursting no matter how much of medicine you take you know you tie the you know the cloth i've seen a lot of people tying cloths around their head so that you know they're trying to see that if literally that thinking can stop right it's a physical way of being able to suppress your brain and press it down and say you know what can like the brain stop thinking but not knowing that it is you internally subconscious and it's not about right or wrong and it is something that you really got to become aware of the first step is to really become aware of and i'm going to like take you through that right now but thank you so much Shweta. truly truly appreciate for you being able to really share that Sam says, overthinking comes quite often. I feel at times it's best to take one step at a time and easy one step a day. Absolutely, that is really um, the way to go forward. However, it's easy said than done, but uh, you do need help. And when I say help, you don't necessarily need to go to the extent of a professional, though you have to, please do so. I'm not telling you do not. However, there are a lot of uh, things that we have within us that we can implement and use and start you know helping ourselves and that really you can start seeing the results right self-reliance is much 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 better because that's long term right and you and then your confidence builds and then you know that you really can achieve and overcome your own fears and your anxiety and whatever you know guilt or regret that you have all right so i'm going to quickly move now thank you so much guys uh, for sharing that I'm going to quickly go through what happens physically, the effects of uh, overthinking. Okay, uh, it does make you very, it does make you less creative. Uh, it makes you less likely to take action. Yes, uh, it doesn't allow you to take action very positively. Everything that you have to do sounds and feels very, very uh, difficult. Right? It doesn't come out of very ease and joy. It is truly a, a hard work that you really need to take make things happen right uh, the effects also is your sleep is affected your sleep patterns are affected um, it is obvious because you're constantly thinking and it's literally like okay if i have to tell you and this is something as an example i wanted to tell you is 
what happens if you keep a battery of a car run on run on key on charge all the time what's going to happen what's going to happen to that battery what's going to happen to the you know the machine parts of that car what's going to happen to the the chassis of that car if you are on it all the time it does need rest it really needs a break too so that it can recharge recoup rewire rest and that's the same thing even our brain requires and the brain is what tells the rest of the body yes you have rested and it does give that amount of information to all our body parts as well but it really does start from the heart, head as well and where does overthinking affect first it's your head all right okay so now that we've spoken about and the next one how does it affect it affects it it has a low effect on your uh it creates a low appetite yes you don't feel like eating uh sometimes it also can cause overeating as well because that's the way you are emotionally you know uh you know supporting yourself overeating is also a, a possibility low energy levels because you physically brain wise you physical wise you emotionally you're quite drained so these are the effects on the body as well now the interesting part is uh hi purvi hi selma um hi mom thank you for joining okay now how to overcome overthinking right now first is the first foremost that i always tell and i am a big believer of that is first become aware awareness is the first step for combating anything right the minute you become aware there is no looking back you know something now and you can never look back and you can never say i did know right but being aware in itself is a biggest first step second is acknowledging it accepting it and really being gentle with yourself very important and that's something i think now onwards we all need to do to ourselves for many many reasons you cannot continue to be harsh on yourself we are going to see a different world we are moving towards a different change we are moving to a different new normal that is going to get created in fact it has already started getting created right so you have to be aware acknowledge it be gentle on yourself accept it all right now the second one remove all the what if situations right so what if this didn't happen what if that didn't happen what if i didn't have this job what if i couldn't go to that what if uh, i married somebody else what if uh, you know my boy- boyfriend was somebody else what if my uh, you know my sister was something else what if i was living in a city what if i had moved abroad what if there are so many what ifs that we live in and that's the irony we are never appreciating our present we are never looking at what we have currently we are always looking at what if what if what if this could have done that could have done that should have happened this should have happened and that's a continuous debate that you are going through but is that even real you are actually living in a different world about what should have happened versus what is happening so move your what if to what is and again i'm not saying it's easy but i am going to give you other tools as well right now how you can actually use this tool now all right okay um the next one how you can actually overcome is take help of a trusted person and this is also one of my biggest go to go to a person where you can trust uh you know um uh, be use them as a confidant try and share anything and everything you're going through uh also choose someone who you can trust a lot uh where uh, they will not judge you they are not going to give you solutions uh just for the sake of you sharing no go to someone who will just listen to you who will just understand you who will just be there to hold your hand and not judge you yes see if you can find somebody like that please talk to them all right the next one what you can actually do is write down details of anything you want to work on and eliminate things which are non productive and non value added and what do i mean by that right so you go through a lot of overthinking if possible start writing them down all right write down everything that you think you can what if this could have happened what if that could have happened if this is something that could have gone wrong or if that can go wrong that should have been this should have been try jotting down everything now the next step what you got to do in that list is start checking out 
what is productive what is not productive what is valuable what is not valuable you yourself will start seeing the amount of things which are not valuable all right when you start doing this exercise and use this as a tool that will start wiring in your brain and give you a reaffirmation that what you're doing is it helping you or not helping you is it really adding value to your um, you know current life or is it not valuing adding value to your current life how does writing help shweta so when you write something it is a direct confirmation going from your hands to your brain about what you're writing it's a confirmation it's more like an affirmation but by writing your overthinking thoughts all right i'm asking you to write your overthinking thoughts and now start taking them off as productive not productive okay i'm going to give you an example okay i should have joined this college but my father didn't allow me to do that if i would have gone to that job, job, uh, to that college i would have had a better job now so that includes what regret guilt anger and overthinking but that's something that happened decades ago correct but you are now cursing regretting and you are in that world of could have and should have and if what if all right start writing those sentences and then start scratching them off is it productive not productive and you will see it adds so much of a difference when you really start using this as a tool as a tool it will start telling your brain whether it is useful or not useful and when you start saying that to yourself no matter who says what outside when you start saying that to yourself you will really start realizing what should be going on in your brain what should you be telling yourself and is this overthinking or is this sort of thinking really helping you or not and that's what's going to happen okay shweta i hope it helps you yep and that is exactly where i was about writing the next one um is um also assess what your fears are and also assess if your fears are really justified and does it make sense to constantly live in that fear all right so for example i'm going to take this pandemic itself right so yes, the cases are increasing everywhere um you know once the lockdown was out the cases started increasing more because people really did not take it seriously in terms of you know the mask the physical distancing the social distancing and so on and so forth however you are fine your family is fine you are touch wood really in a good space of mind but now you start overthinking things of you know you start getting into that fear oh my god oh my god oh my god but really is it justified you are taking all the precautions you are doing everything that a responsible citizen is supposed to do but you got to remain in that positive mind frame all right but going back to the example of you know i should have gone to this college and because of that college i would have had a better life by now does that really justify now and that was decades ago right decades ago of you know what my father chose me to go for a college but now the scenario is different but does it make sense of going through those decisions that they take in decades ago and regretting them now is are those thoughts or fears or anger or guilt are they justified right that's something that you can start assessing as well on a day to day basis start thinking picking one thing all right that you think about constantly and now look at it from a third person point of view and assess does it make sense for me to think about it now all right and guys let me tell you these are the things that nobody has to tell you we can use these tools and implement it on us and ourselves and even if you need to help your near and dear ones you can use these tools right away all right the next one and i'm a big fan of this all right is called the self talk uh, self introspection yes the reason i made a note of this is self talk really helps a lot you know it's not about being crazy it's not about being cuckoo in your head right rather than continuously cursing yourself or beating yourself up or talking yourself into negativity make a shift make a shift and move to the other side and talk to yourself okay i'm just going to say okay uh viji does it really make sense to go down this path is it going to help me go down this path is it going to help me to react in this manner is it going to help me 
uh, you know, take my life to a better position? Is it going to make me positive, right? Or is it going to make me look like a negative person? Or is it, will it help me take a positive decision, right? So self-talk is really, really important, guys, because we don't really give importance to that as much as possible. Be but trust me, it's only me and you to you who are always there as your companion. So yeah, go ahead and use your own companion and talk to yourself and talk to her or she. Yeah, and you will see the difference. Okay, the next one is jog or any physical movement. And this is something that I've told in all my sessions. Yes, a little bit of jog or yoga or walking, um, you know, and even dancing. That really helps you loosen up your nerves, <coughs> loosen up your you know um, you know tightness that you've created in your body and your mind it really helps release that and the next one is solve puzzles yes anything that you think really helps your brain start getting activated or creative really start doing that and solving puzzles really initiate a lot of nerves in your brain which have been dormant for a very very long time and especially if you're uh, going through this uh, phase of overthinking or have been an overthinker for a very long time this really does help all right um, okay so I'm through with a lot of things I'm just going to take a dip check how are you guys doing leave me a note just say is it helpful uh, are you following it uh, what's your feedback any comment let me know and I'm just going to continue and then I'm going to read what your views are okay okay the next one meditation and yoga definitely meditation i would vouch for it any day i have been meditating for the last 80 days um continuously and i can really see a lot of difference feel a lot of difference okay the next one is journal yes this is a different writing exercise that i recommended in compared to earlier uh, journal is you write down all the negative thoughts emotions feelings everything that you feel and write it down there and then do not read back have just a journal for that don't read it and just discard it after that book is over or even the few pages really helps a lot okay right so okay sam is saying very very helpful all right so yes it's just not even for overthinking isn't it it's also for people or for a lot of us who are going through uh, a lot of stress or anxiety thinking you know wondering what's going to be this is really going to help and these tools that i'm sharing with you will help you create a winner mindset and that's my whole contribution my whole sense and purpose of being able to kind of contribute to your wellness your mental healthness your mind mindfulness and that's what we really need to focus on for the coming years and what can i say and i'm so glad to be a part of this to be able to contribute to be able to share my views and a little bit of knowledge and the thoughts and the uh, experience that i've had the amazing experience that i'm going through as well uh, from a mindfulness point of view and that's my contribution to you yeah so uh, yep so these are the points so let me know what you think leave a comment if you think this video is going to share a loved one please go ahead feel free to share with your friends your family also now I have a YouTube channel and all of these videos are now available on the YouTube channel as well so sometime this week I'm going to leave um, a note on my YouTube channel uh, but again, all of these videos, I leave them on my Facebook. So please feel free to go ahead and um, have a look at them. If you've been not been able to see the entire video with me uh, or the session with me, leave your comments, your questions, anything that you can think of, any query. Yep, I'm right there and I will answer to you on that message. All right. So thank you so much, guys. Hope you have a great, great evening. Uh, let all let all of us go through this, uh, pass this phase successfully, and see on the other side and at a brighter side. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay mentally fit, and become a winner in whatever you want to do. And wishing you the only the highest best always. Thank you guys. See you. Bye bye.